morning. Good morning. So today we're in my favourite place again, I think. We had a bit of a disastrous day yesterday, didn't we? It, it, it turned into a bit of a nightmare. Uh, we're we're going to head to Mur Murray Port. From uh, the site that we were at at St Bees. Yeah, so it should have been an hour journey. It took me with two, with there was some there were a road closure and the diversion was huge. And we got to, we got into Mary Port and uh, there were people everywhere and uh, it's... There's some sort of carnival yeah, or something. Yeah, some sort of carnival or something. So we, so we just drove just a little bit off the course to Allenby and we thought we'd uh, come back to Mary Port after and uh, anyway, we did come back to Mary Port after and I've never seen as many drunken people in my life. They were just... <laughs> There were just piles of bottles all over the floor they everywhere, were weren't they? We just um, see, was, even kids. There were kids falling over drunk. There were. Uh, it well, was the kids. We're, we're mean kids, don't we? Like young teens. Yeah, yeah. Like 12, 12, 13, 13 it 14 just, maybe. It was just really messy. We didn't fancy parking up there at all. No, so. because the park up where we are, we're right, we're right amongst them. We were to drive through them. We thought, yeah. what the flipping heck's going on here? So, so we decided then to. Uh, Head out of there and maybe try Cockham out, but we couldn't find anywhere to park in Cockham out. And then the heavens opened. And we were getting a bit fed up then, we were getting a bit fed up, so we thought, well, we'll go to Keswick, we know where we can park in Keswick. And, uh, we know where we are, we, we like Keswick, we know the parking, we know. Anyway, when we got here, a massive storm, weren't we? A huge storm. But we waited for it to settle, then went out for a walk, and uh, as you'll see when I put this uh, vlog together, we got some fireworks there was some uh, there must have been a function on one of the islands on the lake yeah so, so we had fireworks and lightning in the same shot it was fantastic <laughs> it was yeah too. so we went out to Kazakh we had a couple of drinks uh something to eat yeah. and then come back and just had a, a late night walk didn't we down, yeah. down where we are now really yeah took a few stills and uh yeah, so today we're just going to walk around Derwent Water. So we're in this area for two days now, aren't we? Yeah, we've got a site booked on Monday night uh, at Passon Plate, which is only just up the road from here. Really. Oh, and well. we know this area well, so... So yeah, well, so we're going to walk there once, uh, about 10 mile it is, just over and uh, see what happens. Okay, folks. See you soon. We're doing a uh, circular walk around the lake, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how many? 10 miles? 10 miles. 10, 10 miles, miles, yeah. And uh, if we see anything interesting along the way, we'll uh, pick you back up. That's all we do. That's <laughs> all we do. Oh, what a difference a day makes. You won't believe the storm we had last night, and look at it now. It is just beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I am a bit biased because it's one of my favourite towns anywhere. Directly across, yeah, directly across is Cat Bells. One of the ones we have been up. <laughs> we have been up there, yeah. We're not fantastic views, haven't they, from up there? We're not mountaineers, but uh, <laughs> yeah, we, we, we have done Cat Bells. Yeah, so it's, it's not one of the difficult ones. It's not an El Velen, is it? Or, uh, no. Great Gable or anything like that. Scaffold Pike, no. Not for us, but we do love walking. And what a wonderful area to walk in. But it's very busy compared to what we're used to. And obviously it's a nice day, so you're getting lots of canoeers and supporters and swimmers. And look and at that corner again, I just can't get over it. I love it here. <laughs> How many times have I said that? And we're only two miles into the walk. Car park's great though, isn't it? Yeah. It's a great yeah. car park. Uh, technically you're not supposed to stay over now, but... Uh at the moment they're turning a blind eye, there was probably about there was a good 12 vans on there last night, weren't there? Yeah, uh, everybody had a nice time, good enough to run a laugh and even though the storm was there, we all enjoyed it, the storm we? Were there, yeah. <laughs> We've been reading up on it and the council said they're monitoring the situation. <laughs> you can actually stay between 7 at night and 7 at morning, it's a pound. It's so a pound, I mean come on. But again, technically, we're not, it does say no overnight. But, but as we said, we followed it yeah, online. We do, and, do pay, uh, don't we? We do uh, pay. We always pay what they ask. If so they're good enough to let you stay, yeah, so pay just, the money. Yeah, we just pay for 24 hours now. So. I do suspect a lot didn't pay because they were away at 7 o'clock this morning, which were when uh, you start paying again, which I think is wrong. You know, if well, even if they just put a pound in. Yeah, <laughs> it's all so congestion, isn't it? A pound, for God's sake. Just pay the money. Yeah, um, yeah. And then these councils might let us use these things more often. Look I know these people having great fun. 
Look, look at that. Banana, no, it? just left that side at Lakes. Disgusting. Best of beer boxes in there. And <coughs> not a bit from last night, no doubt. Yep. Can't be asked to take it back with me, right? Carrying it. It's a lot right. lighter going back, isn't it? Yep. There's a lot of children swimming here, so I'm not going to video past this bit. I'll pick you up in a little while. So, though the weather said it was going to be nice until four o'clock, look at that. Lovely over there, isn't it? Where Beautiful at that side where we've come from. But look at that bad boy. Mm. I think we're about to get wet. There are a few hotels on here, so if it absolutely poured down, I'd be in for a coffee while it well, stopped. This, we're coming up to one, aren't we? We are, yeah. We can nip in for a coffee if it rains. We can, but there's a few of these uh, jetties, what you can yeah. see there. There's about four or five of them dotted all around the lake. I think it's about six stops six all together, yeah. yeah. So the Keswick Lounge. It's, uh, so the, the old-fashioned wood sports, um, they stop at these Keswick Lounge points. Uh, I'd say in summer, about every half an hour. Yeah, but at various times throughout the day, yeah. So, so if yeah. you're not maniacs like us and you don't want to walk the full 10 miles around, you can yeah. walk a little and then just hop on a boat back. Yeah. Or even just get on the boat and go around the lake if you don't want to walk yeah. at all. Uh, lots do that, they just, uh, just take the two, we don't they? They, they, do. don't, they don't get on enough. Yeah. And we're just walking on to the launch now. Uh, this is Ashton and Jetty. They all have a name so that you know when you get off the boat and jump back on, there's another one, you know where you're at at any point. A little timetable, is it? There is, I'll show you the timetable in a minute. Uh, but look at it, it's just... I just love the lakes, even when the weather's bad. We've been all seasons, yeah. we've been in the... Oh, and that's the tour bus, bus yeah. as well, you can go around on the tour bus. So yeah, I think we are about to get absolutely soaked, looking at that. Uh, that cloud up there, but hey ho, when in Cumbria, expect rain, and if you get anything else, it's a bonus. And this, uh, thought that were it. I'm just going to show you the timetable for the boats. If any of you are visiting this summer, the summer timetables are up. You can also go up the steps there to get back on the road if you don't want to do the to walk around, so that's your timetable. I think it's a bit dark here actually, isn't it? So I get our yeah, second four. They're every, they're every hour, aren't they? Yeah. So we're at Ashness Gate, so it's 10, 10, 11, 10, 12, 10. Yeah, so it's whatever every hour. And then it's clockwise so, and yeah, anticlockwise. So the last one's yeah. at, uh, five. 10, 10 past five, yeah. 10 past five. So the walk does take you off track from the lake sometimes and you can either go by the roadside which we sometimes do especially in winter when the lake the lake's high but it's very low at the minute so we're sticking to the path here it takes you through a lot of woodland what nice scenery again up there and across so we're about uh, just under three miles into it now and we're just uh, nearing the tip I think where are we Alan where you cross over to the other side uh, we're not far off we're not far you're never far away from the water even if you take the roadside uh, instead of this bottom track that we're on no, the is, uh, or it's very thin in places to walk around the actual you know where the, the water's edge but uh, like I said because it's summertime and the, the lake's very low it's fine you won't be able to walk around the lake in winter time at this stage you'd have to go onto the roadside but it's only for a short way and they have made like a, a walkway behind the, 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 the wall if you will so this is one of the sections where they've done a walkway so that's the road there over the wall this is the wall and they've made like a walkway behind the wall so that you don't have to actually go on the road which is fantastic really especially if you've got young ones or dogs what's this stretch of road as well there's no footpath as you no, can see no there's no footpath there. it's just road so you are better off sticking to this path that they've made especially like say if you've got uh, young ones or dogs. 
we have done the roadside but more in winter time when it's quieter and there's not as much traffic on the road and cyclists and it's really busy today because obviously it's a Sunday and it's brightened up we didn't get wet yeah, it has. that big cloud has disappeared over there somewhere so all good march on so we are actually on the road just for a little bit here but uh, we've just passed the Marymount Hotel which uh, we've known for a long while was there just by the river uh, by the, the lake so you can sit out back there and have a nice Sunday lunch and here you've got the Door Falls which is uh, a bar. five star spa facility and hotel and wait till you sit there pool it is wonderful I don't know if you can see them there in the pool they have an infinity pool up there overlooking the lake I'm, I'm guessing it will be heated because oh yeah it will be heated because they were there when we were here in winter they were still out in it weren't they so yeah nice Super view succeed. from the lake from the swimming pool that's the view lovely this little river here which falls into Jaywent so getting very busy around here getting squashed by cars now we're coming to the uh, what I call the, <laughs> the end of the lake but it's not the end obviously if it goes around but the tip of the lake and you cross over in L2 the other side which takes you eventually into porting scale and over there is where we started right at the end where the big mountains are that's where we started off we should be about halfway around somewhere. well we should but by my watch it says 3.8 miles over. beautiful day Look at that now, that, that big cloud's gone. That's where it were, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So it's good. gone that way. Hopefully we'll escape that. Hopefully. Look at this lot. They look like synchronised swimmers. <laughs> the ducks on tour. The ducks on tour. Look at them. How cute are they? We haven't got any bread, folks. I'm afraid it's all gone. I'm following uh, the leader, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> oh. The water is really clear. I don't know if you'll see on this picture, but it's mm, absolutely it, clear. It does, and it looks quite deep as well. It does. It is it's, very uh, deep, I think. Dogs are enjoying it. Dogs are having a good swim. Now, crossed over tip of the lake and we're now on the, the quieter side uh, not many people walk the whole way around do they? No it's a lot quieter <coughs> on this side a lot quieter and it, there's not as much uh, you're more a bit more inland you can see the In water places, through there yeah. so I don't think a lot of people like doing this side but we like the peace and quiet around here and just look at that I know go on about it. it that's cat bells isn't it over there yeah. I mean, probably most of the 10 subscribers will probably be <laughs> being here anyway, <laughs> wouldn't they? But uh, for those yeah. that haven't been, it, it's a must. It, you, it you must come. It is. It's fantastic. We did only start this uh, YouTube just to document our uh, early retirement travels, really, and for your family and friends to follow. But obviously, if you do go on, put a subscribe on. It uh, lets YouTube know that we are updating the site regularly it knows that people like what they're, what they're seeing we'll never uh, be one of these monetization right. channels oh, because, um, yeah. and also the monetization side of youtube means that you have to have something like i don't know 4,000 subscribers or something which uh, i don't think that would ever happen to us so i think they've just reduced it actually it is less than that but Nonetheless, I don't think we... That's a bit of an hobby, isn't it, really? It is, and there's yeah. something we can look back on as well. Because, as well, another thing I've learnt by videoing these things, it's difficult to save them all onto your hard drive of your computer because they take that much space up. So, by adding them to YouTube, 
and creating your own sort of online diary really eh? um, it then, Hi, Hi. Hi. it then gives you the opportunity to look back on things yeah I've, I've noticed when I google photos I'm halfway through your limit Th through my limit which yeah. I think is about 15 gigs and they keep sending me emails saying at current rate what I'm putting photos on in 12 months time I'm, I'm gonna be yeah um, and then they want obviously then they want pain then don't yeah, they? The storage, so and I've just up my my storage on iCloud uh, for photos but as soon as I start adding videos it's a, the amount of space yeah, it takes up, up yeah takes up a lot of space so to us that. YouTube is the ideal online diary for us so that we can look back and and see ourselves what we did so but yeah please do subscribe let us know that people are watching if anybody is watching out there is there anybody out there <laughs> <laughs> i don't know but uh, yeah please subscribe and uh, stick a like on there and a few comments let us know if you think we should shut up or show more of something else and we'll do so there we are folks right round the other side now so I don't know if you can see up there, there's uh, the little island, I don't think you can tell now everything's green in the winter, you can tell which are the islands and which is land, you can't, yeah, tell, can't now. tell now, everything's no. green, in fact I don't think I've been to Keswick and ever seen it this green, it's usually uh, barren when we come and the trees are usually bare and uh, like I said the joys of early retirement, we can now go whenever we like and having the motor home of course, that makes it ten times I mean, yeah. last night we got a storm and we were on this car park but everybody else were in the same boat and uh, it didn't matter I don't know it's just different it's not like being stuck in a hotel room or you can make a brew and obviously other motorhomes and all this but for anybody thinking of getting a motorhome it's just amazing I just love it it's fantastic yeah we set it out for that so this was uh, a strange turn up there's this little wood cabin and there's postcards and letters and and it turns out that this little teddy bear here that somebody once put in the window has become famous so it's actually got its own postcard so people uh, <laughs> yes. and obviously you can see where the postman gets them here doesn't it the bear in the window so it must have started with somebody writing to the bear in the window and now it's famous some people say letters and cards from all over the world brilliant apparently it's been on tv and everything <laughs> this little te this teddy in the window it's been everywhere <laughs> How cute is that? And here you've got the Keswick launch just coming in to collect some people from this stop. So they've probably walked about halfway around and now they're getting on the boat back. And you can see the lovely old fashioned type wooden ferries. Called Lady Derwent Water, that boat. That one's called Lady Derwent. You don't have to walk all the way around here like we have. So, no, you, know, you can hop like on and off, can't you? You can just get on there and come over here. It'll pick you up in an hour. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, but you'll be a bit of stuff. It's really busy around the other side. I think once you've got a ticket, I think you can hop on and off, can't I, you? I, I think you can. I think you can. And we, we've been on them in the past, haven't we? We have. We once went on with the dog when we, we had a dog, didn't with we? The dog, so they let dogs on. Yeah. Uh, Oh, my dog used to love it around this size, so and it's quite, quite it shallow, is, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, she used to love having a swim around here because she can just pad she well, she'd paddle. Well, she'd paddle. She wouldn't swim. She hated swimming, yeah. but she'd have a good she paddle. She loved the water, though. She loved the water. She couldn't keep were... her out, but she well, yeah. as soon as her feet couldn't touch the bottom, she'd she didn't. She, weren't, she weren't interested, no. She weren't interested, no. And there you have it. So and yeah. there's a obviously there's a, an inside area. If uh, if like now the outside is full, or if it's raining. He wants to be on the inside section, obviously. It's got the roof over. Yes. So, so now we'll go across, I think, to Ashness Bridge, where we yes, were before. Where we were before. Before it's heading up. Yep. 
and there's one at Porting Scale. There's two up that top end near Porting Scale, there's, isn't there? There's at least four. There's there's at least there's four. There could be maybe five. Yeah. And there it goes. Oh. It's just like a little bus, really. A uh -huh. boat bus that goes everywhere around. You see over there, this folk going in for a swim. I wish I could go in for a swim. You can. You just need to dry yourself. We haven't packed any no, towels. No, we haven't packed anything weird, have we? Anything today, weird, have we? There you have it. That's oh. the Keswick Lawn at the end of the the Derwent Lake Walk. Um, this is one of the rivers that runs into Derwent. Um, a little place called Porting Scale. Porting Scale, yeah, where uh, they can do a lot of the uh, water activities around here. You can hire canoes or kayaks or. Anything, anything to do with water sports. I don't think there's anything that you can't hire. So if you if you want to do it and you don't want to bring loads of stuff with you, there's plenty of places, especially in summer. There's a lot closed in winter, but in summer you can hire in anything from here. We're just over on the swing bridge now, which takes us over there, back into Keswick, and uh, that's where we came from. From the end of the lake. That, that end bit of the path before you get to the swing bridge there's not really a lot to show you because it's all forestry so you're walking through a lot of forestry and uh, yeah it's like you said it's probably the boring part of the walk it is you, I, I reckon you're enclosed yeah. aren't you, you can't, so the 10 miles I reckon the last mile yeah. is a bit boring really for, for viewers anyway there's nothing really to show you we're just through, walking through trees trees and more trees until we got to the swinging bridge and it's like seeing the light at the end of the tunnel when you get there. This road here that we're coming onto is uh, it's just a dead end road and everybody parks here. But last time we came, there were a lot of motor homes and uh, van life is on here. Whether they're still getting away with it. I'm sure they will oh, because oh. There's, no, there's no sign saying you can't. No. For one. Uh, it's just a little road no. that's uh, just off the A66. So it just, as you can see, it's lots parked here. So, so they'll yeah. park a lot of park here and they'll either do the Derwent walk or they'll park here and maybe go Cat Bell's they walk. Um, but the, yeah, but this is a good parking spot, it's obviously, it's obviously free, which uh, well, appeals to myself. It'll be good night time park it would up. It be nice and quiet down Like here. I said, last time there were, there were a lot of van lifers down here, weren't there? Yeah, I'm sure there will be tonight. Yeah, well. so I think they, they go off during the day and they park up here at night because it was late when we got back last time, weren't it? It was. And there were, there were loads of van lifers on here. It was. So, uh... And that up there is Skidder. There. Do you think we'll have to climb that? Uh, well, it's, it's on the list. It's on the list. It's been on the list for a while. It's something that we'll never got round to, is it? You'd probably be fine. It'd probably kill me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, give uh... it a good shot. Uh, and up there, there's a lot of forest walks as well. We've done Dodwood up there, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, Windlatter Forest. Windlatter, up there. Yeah. yeah. Nice little sort of village around here called Braithwaite. We, we used to stay oh, there, didn't we? We used to stay in Braithwaite Village when we had a dog. We loved it there. Yeah. And this is the last bit of the walk into Keswick, and look how busy it is. Well, that Braithwaite, going back to that, there's a that site there, isn't there? It's called uh, Stop Gate. Yeah, I think they've changed the name now because it's gone over to uh, Caravan Club. It's not uh, privately owned anymore. And I think, oh, I forgot what it's called. I'm sure they've renamed it and it's not Scott. Yeah. It used to be called Scott Gate, right. didn't yeah, it? So it's, part, you know, it's, it's part of the camping club, isn't it? But it's, well, it's obviously expensive. It, it weren't cheap before, was it? No. But uh, people say it's a good site. It good is. facilities on well, there. Well, we've walked through it, haven't yeah. we? It is. It's a beautiful site. Little, little shop on there. Little shower shop. Bark, everybody You've got access to the village. There's some two beautiful pubs in the village yes, in there. Yeah. Uh, the Coldale Inn, which was our favourite. Yeah, we used uh, to go there a lot, didn't oh, we? We used to stay in the village, we used to go nearly every night. Yeah. And even Dog loved it there, yeah. didn't she? She used to get on the table, fall asleep and she'd, yeah. you know. So we'd walk her all day, will not we, for miles and miles, and we'd go to the pub at night, she'd just collapse on the table and... Uh, the family that have owned the Coldale, I don't know if they still do, but they'd owned it for years and years and years. And they owned yeah. the Mary Mount. 
they yeah. own quite a few places around here didn't they so the Murray Mount is the one what we're the, the other side of the lake isn't it yeah. it's Borrowdale so, so when, it, when we thought it was going to rain the Murray Mount were my first stop uh, that was the first uh, uh, with a dash in there for coffee I think yeah. but now we're going to tackle this path here which is really busy yeah. with people coming in and out of Keswick and my first port of call is going to be a beer and that's me saying that not Alan <laughs> Well, I weren't going to bother, <laughs> but now, you, now you've mentioned it. Yeah, uh, I'll whatever. Put, put a bit of whatever. And I'll have a pint. Pint, so. Yeah. That was thirsty work, that. So I'll have about another three quarters of a mile to do back into Keswick now along this path. We'll and, pick uh, you up in Keswick when we yeah. get there. So we're back in Keswick, as we said before. It's absolutely busy, busy, busy. It's nearly five o'clock. Ish. Still busy. Shops are still open. All the pubs are busy, which is good to see. We've just had a quick pint, haven't we? Just the yeah. place of <laughs> from the 10 miler, so we're just going to go back to the. Uh, go and check on the bus. Get changed. Yeah, get changed. And might come out and uh, join these these masses. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, it's a lovely couple, night. It's lovely and sunny. And, uh, <laughs> I'm going to treat you to a lunch and a couple of back packets of crisps maybe. <laughs> Whatever. The, uh, I still haven't had these fish and chips folks that I've been fancying since we started motorhoming. Believe it or not. That's why we got the old... Uh... <laughs> we had a takeaway from there last night. Alan, there had a, Alan had a dirty big fat donna kebab. Oh, oh. I had chicken. Mama, Mama grilled chicken so it weren't as bad. But I did have a taste of Alan's and I thought... I might enjoy it because I didn't enjoy it when I was younger. I thought I might enjoy it now, but no, still not for me. I don't think I've ever had one in my life without having a, had a couple of drinks first. Well, I think you need that, a drink that, to. That's the reason why. I don't think it's ever seen meat in its life. No. <laughs> so, this is the old Keswickian in the day I've had on a different vlog. Uh, Oh, it was queued up last night. Yeah, it's. Uh, it was queued we, up. We off. have had fish and chips from there before. We it have. is a while ago. No, they have no, a restaurant no. upstairs and there. Very good. So that, um, that's a mood as well. Yeah. yeah that were on a, uh, one of their older vlogs, mood all. Yeah, I think they were watched by four people, one of them <laughs> early ones. <so. laughs> this is still an early one. This is still an early one, but uh, yeah, mood all now is. Uh, I think it used to be a church or something, but now it's just like tourist information and stuff. Uh, and the pub, pub here, isn't this it? one, this pub is brilliant. This is well, the dog and gun. Well, yeah, we went in there last night. But How many pubs are going last night? About 25, were not it? <laughs> <laughs> About three. Yeah. Um, but we used to go in, in uh, the dog and gun a lot when we had a dog because it's famous for being so dog friendly in Keswick, they're amazing. They have treats on the bar for the dogs, uh, everybody goes it, And they're also famous for goulash. So they've been making this goulash. Yeah, the signs in there, I don't know if you can see it. They've been making this goulash for over 59 years. <laughs> uh, so yeah, they've been making this goulash for 59 years. I have had it once. Uh, it was very, very good. It's got the old one, man, like in Spain. It is. A couple of 13 kilo gas bottles there. If it turns his, turns his back, I'll be having one. Huh? <laughs> yeah, these uh, Cali gas bottles are getting in very short supply, aren't they? Uh, well, the only good thing that happened to us yesterday after we were aborted trip to America it was we managed to find some gas, didn't we? Yeah. We picked a bottle of gas off of the at a petrol station which was which was good so that's just topped us up now hasn't it yeah so. loads of lovely little shops around here and obviously tons and tons of shops with walking gear because obviously everybody's here for walking of some description uh, george fisher they're a famous famous one of the first ever outdoor walking companies and um, and here, this pub here gets very, very busy. The Wainwright, which I don't think we've ever been in. I think we're going there tonight. We're going there tonight then, no. Uh, I don't think we have. Oh, church is on in there. They're all singing. They're singing, no. Uh, so, yeah, I think we'll have a look in the Wainwright tonight. 
Uh, they've got a brilliant sign there on the door because, as I said last night, all the restaurants are queued up Saturday night uh, and they have a sign at the front saying we don't serve fast food, we serve good food as fast as we can. Well, that used to be one of our when we were in the trade, and, we in the trade and, and that way we used to say, if you want a McDonald's... Yeah, if you want fast food, go to McDonald's. Yeah. You know. It's down the road, yeah. yeah. Up there, we're back yeah, at the yeah. car park now where we parked. Up well, there, takes park. you to the lake. Right. Takes you to the lake, and it takes you to uh, Keswick Lakeside Theatre which is very very busy they have a lot of, oh, they have a lot of fantastic shows on there so this is the car park uh, I don't even know if you'll be able to see that but obviously T's and C's terms and conditions say that it's uh, between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. it's one pound but then it also says that you're not supposed to sleep here but like we said at the minute, they're turning a blind eye to it and they are monitoring the situation. So we're led to believe. So we're led to believe. Well, I have seen it on the Facebook group. Yeah. Uh, this is the Keswick Mountain Rescue, which never get the glory that they deserve. They're out all the time in Cumbria. Look at this when, it's when uh, Keswick flooded. A vehicle, it's so, beautiful. Yeah, it's absolutely stunning. I think and it may. The door was open last night. Oh, it's all, all like the blue LED. Yeah, it's all lit up underneath and on top. It's beautiful. Yeah. I think. I think it's, it's, uh, it's not sure if it might have been a horse box or something that's been converted, but it is stunning. Some spotlights on. Yeah. There now, so. Trying not to put his reds on, but. Yeah, it's stunning. Fantastic, yeah. Yeah, so this morning when we left, you could not even move on here. Left wing mirrors out, Al. I did, because I saw a rolling in and there That lady's left your notes. <laughs> and that is it. That's our uh, 10 mile, well nearly 11 mile now, walk round Keswick, round Derwent Water. So we're just going to have a quick change. We're going to get changed. We're going to go out for tea and I'm not taking you with us I'm afraid, I'm having a night off and I'm going to have a couple of beers and a and a nice tea hopefully, I think I might be too late to get a Sunday lunch now. Right, but there's still quite a lot of vans still parked. There is, there. there's not as many as last night but the internet is really like absolutely it. shocking service around here but that's even better because you can cut yourself off from the world and it's lovely. Yeah, travelling camper van family from. Yeah, so there's, still a, there's still a few, one, two, three, four, still well over a dozen. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, folks, that's enough. That's us signing off now from Derwent. And uh, we'll catch you tomorrow. Pick them up tomorrow in Bath and Flirt. Bath and